Hello, I'm Valder Beebe. I'm the host and a visionary of the Valder Beebe Show's That Celebrity Interview. Good morning, Kate Walsh and Dr. Pereira. Thank you for joining me here in Dallas, Texas, live on the Valder BB Show. We had a great thing to talk about. We had to talk about lifestyle. Now, if I could start with you, Kate. Yeah. We know you've got a really busy lifestyle. We see you on Grey's Anatomy. You've got a new uh, drama that's been renewed for a second season. How do you keep it in balance? Well, that's a great question. Um, I make sure I try to get enough sleep. That's not always possible. I try to eat right, which is also not always possible, um, and um, drink a lot of water and exercise. Um, but one of the things that's absolutely necessary for me to and just live, perform, and, uh, and function is make sure I get enough protein. Um, I was shocked to hear that one in three adults don't get enough protein in their diets, particularly adults over 40. So um, I was very excited to uh, partner up with Abbott uh, with Ensure Max Protein, uh, namely because I'm a huge advocate of protein shakes, knowing that we must get an, uh, like a, enough protein in our diets. Again, not just if, if you're working crazy hours or you know shooting TV shows, but just in life in general. Uh, and then you need even more when you're exercising. So um, again, I've been a huge fan of protein shakes for the last several years uh, and understood after I met with a nutritionist and had after a health scare to understand that how important protein is for bone health, for muscle health, for brain health. Um, so I was excited to be able to bring protein shakes to everyone that, so you don't have to carry a blender around or do the guesswork that Ensure's done it all for you and the good people at Abbott. And um, yeah, so we're here for Ensure Max Protein. It's very exciting. Dr. Pereira, uh, if Kate doesn't mind, I'm going to say she's coming up on a birthday real soon. How are women her age getting enough protein oh, no. and not oh, getting no. enough? I already had the big birthday. Is that what you're talking about? Yeah, yeah. Okay. The big five out. Yeah, it happened. <laughs> okay, I can say it then. Thank you so much. <laughs> okay, she's had the big five out. Are women her age getting enough protein? Are we doing the right thing? So I'm glad you asked that question because Abbott uh, partnered with The Ohio State University and did some research. And what we found was that one in three people over the age of 50 are not getting enough protein. And that's a huge wake-up call for all of us. Meal skipping appears to be a big culprit in all this. And you can see how that happens with our busy lifestyle. We sometimes forget to eat a meal. So we really need to be intentional about the amount of protein we get in our diet. That's very, very true. So, Kate, you are getting enough now because of your addition to your diet? Yes, that's correct. And so this is available widely in the stores, correct? Yeah, you can go to insure.com to find out exactly where you can get it, but it is available. It's in two great flavors. It's in chocolate and then a, a cafe mocha, um, which actually has 100 milligrams of uh, caffeine in it, which is the same as one cup of coffee. Um, and, it, and there's 30 grams of protein for each shake. It's low fat, low sugar. So I know, for instance, and Dr. Pereira has said, as an example, if you're 150 pounds, you need about 55 grams of protein a day, minimum, more if you're exercising. And what one egg has... Oh, one egg has six grams of protein. One egg has six grams of protein. So you see how difficult it can be with just, even if you are eating three solid meals a day with a protein source in each meal to get your necessary uh, protein for the day. So for me, I know I'm doing myself, uh, doing my body a, a, a big fat favor to get my 30 grams in just one Ensure Max Protein Shake. So that, uh, that I feel like is exciting news for everybody. You're making 50 look really good, Kate. Thank you. Uh, no, thank you. <laughs> you're making it look really good, so you're giving us something to strive for. Yeah. And like I asked you earlier, you're balancing it all. 
You've mm-hmm. got this new show, uh, Brothers, going into the second season, 13 Reasons yeah. Why. Yes. How are you feeling about that? I'm super excited for everyone to see it. We launch tomorrow, and um, it's it, it's a... I'm very proud of this show. I think every person who 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 created it and took part in it is um, is super passionate about the storytelling and t- dealing with very complex and difficult issues that uh, that uh, not are not just relevant to the show or good storytelling, but are actually very uh, much relevant to our the, the zeitgeist and the culture at large. And and starting conversations and continuing conversations about how to deal with mental health issues for you know sexual assault gender bias the issues that are difficult to, to discuss and and I think a lot of times for me it was very exciting to play the role of uh, Olivia Baker and uh, and see these issues from a parent's perspective um, I think that from what I understand in talking to uh, healthcare experts and mental health care experts that it I think a lot of parents feel like they can't talk to their kids unless they have a solution or they have a solid answer. And I think the season really explores communication between adults and children too and how the community communities can come together and find solutions that you don't have to be an expert that you can actually start a conversation, continue it. And um, it's it's a really exciting it's an exciting time, and I'm really uh, thrilled for the world to see the fine work that everyone created in season two of 13 Reasons Why. Well, we were there for season one. I'm definitely there for season two. I want to thank you so much. Thank Dr. you. Dr. or you, Kate, where can my audience go online and find out more information about what we were discussing about protein? Yes, please go to insure.com. That's a great website, which gives you uh, really nice resources on how much protein you should be getting, what are some really nice high-protein foods to take, as well as a little bit more information about InsureMax Protein, which has 30 grams of protein. So please go there if you want to learn more and try to get as much protein in your meals as possible. Make sure you spread your protein across all three meals, breakfast, lunch, and dinner. Don't skip meals. And of course, incorporate exercise in your uh, in your schedule because exercise and protein go hand in hand. You are so on the money, <laughs> Dr. Pereira. I want to thank you, and I want to thank thank Kate Walsh for reminding us some simple things that we can do to have the best lifestyle. Thanks for being my guest on the Valder Beebe Show. Thank, thank you, you so much.